Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 19th of 2018. And as you see, I am back to using a headset. Uh, I've been switching things around the last few days, trying different different things. Well, yeah, I can show you, except I put it over there. Uh, so I'm back to using a headset. We'll see how this works out. I'm using the uh, Logitech Rio camera. I got it working. I mentioned that in another uh, video. I'm using my old 25 inch, I believe, extra wide monitor. My LG, the old one that I used. And because it gives me, uh, it's what, 2560 by 1080 or something right there. So I can have two 1080 screens up here. And I think that works better than having my little tiny image up here. Well, let me know how it works. Uh, so this is sort of a test again. I know I'm always testing. But I, I've checked everything. The audio should be working good. I checked that. Tried a different sound, a couple different sound cards this morning. Um, one was interesting, the My Fine or whatever. Had a whole bunch of inputs in to it. And uh, anyway, I think I'm back using the headset. Cameras, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do on that. By the way, I have a which I really love. I've had it a long time. It's, you know, the LX7. Panasonic LX7. And I really love it. It's It doesn't do for, uh, 4K or anything, which really, I, I don't see any reason for doing 4K. Uh, but I really love this camera. I have a couple other, you know, Panasonics. My next Panasonic was the See, is this the LX, the FZ200, and I like this camera real well. And this, my new one, my G7, you know, I really have not messed with learning to do anything with it. I um, need to install, I still haven't done that, I need to install the Android app so I can set this, and then maybe I will set this camera up, um, and then I could zoom in and zoom out and do it. Well, I really don't have a, the lens that is with this, that came with this, is really not a, much of a zooming lens for, but need to buy another lens, I guess. Um, but you know, let me jump over here. They have an LX10, of course. I've they went from the let's see from a seven to anyway. There is now an LX10. Well, in fact, this guy here is uh, he did this in 2016, so <laughs> he's telling how much he loves the LX10. So it's been out for a while, and I would I'd like to go to the LX10 and make it if I could, and I think I could make just make it. I don't know what I'd do with these other two cameras. Well, I'd still want to keep them until one of my kids needed a camera. My, of course, my kids are grown. Um, but I just can't. It. I cannot bring myself to spend $550 for an LX10. I think it's worth it. Um, I think it's a great camera. I've been following it all along. Not just this reviewer. This I just happened to check a few minutes ago. And but uh, after all I've spent for these other cameras, can't bring myself to spend that kind of money for. Uh, um. 
I think here in a few days, YouTube pays the commission when you have $100 or more you've earned. And so I think after about three months, I think here, and they pay on the 20, 20th, the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd, I think it is. And so I think this, finally this month, I'm going to, I think I will have, uh, I think I'll be getting some money from them. I get it about every three months. Sure, I'd like to get it like every month. Maybe I should get $100 every month. Um, but as you can see, my revenue has been going up a little bit for some reason. So maybe I'll start getting, you know, hundred dollars every other month. Uh, also, this YouTube revenue money, the YouTube premium money, has been slightly increasing. So I don't know. So maybe here in a few months, I'll well. I was going to say I could get an LX10, but not with one month's revenue. <laughs> I mean, not with three months' revenue, you know. Um, I know. I oh, here it is. Uh, there is a... I was a movie uh, called Get Shorty, and uh, there is a series, Get Shorty, and I've watched season one, episode one and two, and I really like it. I might get tired of it, but I really like it. Uh, the, the one of the stars in here. Uh, is the guy from, that's him right there, YouTube group, or YouTube, what was that, on the UK show that was so good, comedy? I loved that show. They did a, uh, they brought them over here, and they tried a U.S. version of it. They made a pilot, and it didn't sell, it didn't go, or whatever. But, uh, so anyway, I recommend to you, get Shorty, let me know what you think. It's on uh, Netflix, and let me know what you think of it. Um, uh, now this, see, can I show just the, uh, tra do they have the trailer? Let me see if I can bring up the trailer. No, I can't. I'm going to stop because I'll get hit with a violation of, uh, copyright for the music or something rather, but uh, the Ballad of uh, Buster Scrubs. It's, uh, I know what I can probably do. No, I wouldn't get by with it. I was going to say I could go to, to uh, YouTube. If I tried to show the trailer for that, it'd get hit too with a uh, violation of copyright or something. But this, the Ballad of Buster Scrubs, if that's what it is, by the Coen Brothers, they make some excellent movies that I really liked. And I really recommend this to you. The acting is fantastic. The, the writing is fantastic. The camera angles and uh, everything and things you're not expecting happen or develop so i really recommend it to you so recommend those two things uh, get shorty i've been watching the medal of honor thing about medal of honor winners getting a little tired of it uh, beautiful girls is a movie that i i just love for some reason uh, I'm waiting for a couple of things to start up. I forget where they where they are. 
By the way, I loved the West Wing. I just love that. Oh, here's what it is. A series of unfortunate events. They have season one and season two. And I'm now waiting for, for season three to start. Uh, weeds. Uh, I recommend, I loved Weeds. And uh, I did get a little bit tired of it towards the end. You know, I actually think, I don't think I watched the last two or three episodes or maybe. Oh, here it is, the IT crowd. Oh, this is great. Uh, wish I could had some more, wish we could have had some more seasons. And uh, to have watched Kim's Convenience, I'm not sure how many episodes there are. I've watched it and it's, uh, it's okay. Canadian. Uh, Hot Fuzz, the movie Hot Fuzz. I love that. Uh, some of these other things I've, uh, I've watched. I've tried watching Marco Polo, and I've watched a few episodes. I just can't get into it for some reason. The Good Place, I uh, have family members recommended it uh, to me, I believe. I don't like it. I just, I just don't see the point in it. I end up watching an awful lot. Oh, by the way, The Hateful Eight, two hours and 47 minutes. This is on Netflix again. And now there's a lot of violence in it, but I, uh, it was really well done and I really liked it. I wish this stuff would not pop out like that. Anyway, I guess we gave this a little bit of a test. Uh, let's go to full screen here. Oh God, too much of Jim Howard. Let's see if we can go back to not full screen. Guess that's it. Uh, uh, it's almost 3 p.m. and I just took my morning medication and I've got a bunch of stuff on the bed that I took off of here off the desk to work with. Now I got to take it off the bed and put it someplace so I can take a little nap. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Check out some of these uh, movies and shows and especially those two I talked about. Uh, let me know what you think of those especially because I want positive reinforcement. I want people to say, those were great. Thanks for recommending them. Or, you know, hey, I have watched that before. And, uh, you know, you're right, it is. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching.